Hey guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. We are here at Tombstone Pass and we are going to hike up Iron Mountain. So this is what we're having to navigate. Gross, snowy ice. Just right off the bat. Ooh, we're hoping there won't be too much of that. But yeah, we're gonna go up Iron Mountain. This is not generally a hike that you would do in January, but uh, there has been like no snow and lots of rain. So it's like been melting all the snow. Yeah, so. We are going to see if we can attempt this 5,100 foot summit. Generally, you cannot hike at 5,100 feet in the winter. You'd be snowshoeing. But we got, we have our snowshoes just in case we need them. We have our trekking poles and everything because it is a little steep. So yeah, we'll catch you on the trail. Okay guys, we just glimpsed our first sight of Iron Mountain. So that's where we're going up to right there and has all these beautiful colors you can see it's very red jaggedy so that's where we're going we see a snow field ahead but <laughs> looks like just a teensy amount of snow nothing to worry about we are just very surprised at how little snow there is here this year is very odd compared especially in contrast to last year Okay, so we are here at our junction. This is Cone Peak Trail, that way, where we're gonna loop around after we go to the summit, which is right up this way. So excited. Guys, this view, oh, it's gonna be so epic. Be prepared to be wowed. Okay, we are heading up switchbacks. It's pretty steep. And this is really like the only snow we've seen. It's pretty ice at this point, it's not really snow. It's just solid. It's a little slippery, but if you step careful, you're fine. I brought ice spikes just in case it would get worse than this, but this is probably the most shady spot, or I know this is the most shady spot on the trail, so probably won't get worse. But yeah, situations like this, um, the spikes are the best. Obviously, this is not snowshoeing snow, but we brought them just in case. <laughs> We're like overly prepared today. Okay, we've come around this bend here on the north side that doesn't get sun. So it's, you can see it's very steep there. Um, I mean, granted there's trees and stuff. If you fell, you could hopefully hold on, but we don't want to do that. So <laughs> it's not very far, just around this bend, but just for precautions, Holly is strapping in her snowshoes with the spikes. I have my, micro spikes on and we both have our trucking poles for safety so yeah we're gonna do this <laughs> it's gonna be worth it okay we made it up with our snowshoes and our spikes we're at the top it's absolutely stunning and it's warm it's like so warm Wow, so this is the platform that they built. It's super nice. There used to be a lookout hut up here, but it blew away in the wind. <laughs> it blew down the mountain. Hopefully, I think it happened during a winter storm, so I don't think anyone was in it. 
when that happened. But yeah, this platform is super nice. And it shows you here, it has a map with all the mountains and stuff like that. Which is neat. So you can see Jefferson is right there. And then we have Mount Hood right there. It's super hazy today, so it's kind of hard to see. But you can see Mount St. Helens as well. And then, of course, you got the Three Sisters over that way. Washington. Cone Peak. Over here. It's just phenomenal. For you all who watched my Browder Ridge video, I think it's that one. That guy is Browder Ridge. There's another little logo right there. It's so amazing. 360 degree views. Sorry. wanted to see what I was eating. Some sort of potato dish from Mountain House. Super tasty, but it's only half a meal because I don't need to have a whole Mountain House meal for lunch, so. And then I have carrot sticks and stuff for later too, so. Yeah, and we have this beautiful view. Can't get any more perfect than that. So this is where we put on our snowshoes, like right on the other side of that, because this was ice when we came and really sketchy. So it's much better now, but yeah, sketchy. You don't want to fall down there. That's really steep. <laughs> Okay guys, question of the day is, at what point when hiking in the winter do you need to get snowshoes out or micro spikes? Um, are you okay with like a little bit of snow here and there? What do you think about like situations like this, for example? Like what would you do here? Would you just hike through it or would you feel like this is necessary for micro spikes or snowshoes, that kind of thing. So yeah, that's the question of the day. Comment below. So we had a little more snow to deal with. We just, the whole other side is full of snow. And then we came over here, across this little ridge with some snow. So we have a fresh old pile of scat here. Big one too. That's my hand. Big old pile of scat. So we just crossed a little creek here. Okay, we crossed Highway 20 right 
depot over there at that sign. Um, and now we are continuing here on the Santium Wagon Trail back to our car, making it a loop. Thank you.